Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. Unit 11 Interchange Entry 4th Edition Part 2 Unit 11 Part 2 Exercise 8 Conversation Have a good Valentine's Day Look at the picture, what do you see? Young man is wearing a suit Red tie, briefcase A young lady She's wearing jacket, skirt, purse. What's this? Where are they? Valentine's Day, February 14th. What's Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day, this is a day of love. The day of celebration of love. So, what's this? This is a gift shop. Gift shop, a shop, a shop for selling presents and gifts. I love you, bear, heart, red hearts, Valentine's Day, February 14th. So what do you think? I think that the young man and the young lady are going to buy presents, gifts for the Valentine's Day. They are going to buy gifts for their husbands and wives. People buy gifts on Valentine's Day for their husbands and wives. Eight, conversation. Have a good Valentine's Day. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Page 75, exercise eight, conversation. Have a good Valentine's Day. Listen and practice. So Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. How fancy. She's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Mona and Tyler are talking about Valentine's Day and the gifts. They are giving some gifts to their boyfriends and girlfriends. Mona, so Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do on Valentine's Day? I do. I'm gonna take my girlfriends out for dinner. I'm going to go out with my girlfriend. Oh really? Where are you gonna eat? At Lugunis, this is a restaurant, name of restaurant, restaurant's name. It's her favorite restaurant. How fancy, how romantic, how wonderful. She gonna like that. She gonna like that. She's going to like that. She's going to like eating in a restaurant. 
How about you, Mona? What are you going to do? What are your plans? Well, I'm not going to go to restaurant. I'm going to go to dance. Mona is going to go dancing. She's going to dance. Sounds like fun. Seems like fun. It's fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. You too. Have a good Valentine's Day too also. Now for Mona and Taylor. Let's add some question. What do you think? What about Taylor? Does Taylor have any plans for Valentine's Day? Yes. Yes, he does. He's going to take his girlfriend out for dinner. Where is he gonna eat? He gonna eat at Luguini's Luguini's restaurant. Why? Because this is his girlfriend's favorite restaurant. How about Mona? What is Mona gonna do? Mona is going to go dancing. Mona is going to go to dance. She's not gonna go to restaurant. Exercise number nine, grammar focus. WH questions with B going to. WH questions with B, M is R, going to or gonna. In speaking, we say gonna. How can you make a WH question with going to? Page 75, exercise 9, grammar focus. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. How is Mona going to get to the dance? She's going to drive. She's not going to take the bus. Where are Tyler and his girlfriend going to eat? They're going to eat at Laguna's. They're not going to eat at Nick's Cafe. WH questions with B going to. B, M is R. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? What are, what are, T sub D. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? What are your plans for Valentine's Day? I am going to go to, I am going to go to dance. I am going to go to dance. I am not going to go to restaurant. How is Mona going to, how is Mona going to get to the dance? She is going to drive. She's going to drive. She's going by her car. She's not going to take the bus. She's not going to take the bus. Where are Tyler and his girlfriend going to eat? They're going to eat at Lug Lugunis. They're not going to eat at next cafe. Now here, how can you make WH questions with verb to be? Going to B M is R going to after two infinitive main verb question word you have W H question word what where how when why who is or are subject is is he is she is it is Mona are are you are they, are we, going to, plus infinitive. Again, question word, what, how, where, when, why, is or are, is the subject, is she at, are, we, you, they. Plus going to, plus main verb, infinitive. Infinitive means the main verb. Verb without D, E, D, I, N, G, just the verb. Do, 
get, eat, or infinitives. Let's check this wonderful PowerPoint presentation. All right, now it's time for the grammar. And today's grammar is the future WH questions. So remember, similar to all questions, we use the WH question word to start the question. Then the auxiliary verb, be, the subject, going to, for the future, and the verb, the principal action. So, the answer is, I'm going to go to the beach. A possible question for this is, what are you going to do next week? Again, what are you going to do next week? Remember, the WH word, what, the auxiliar is first for the question, are, the subject is you, the future, going to, and the principal verb, do. What are you going to do next week? Okay. Very good. Okay, so let's look at some typical questions for a person about the future. When you want to know plans, we ask what? What are you going to do? And to be specific about when, we use a future time phrase. For example, today, tonight, tomorrow, this weekend, next week, next month, or next year. Again, plans and a question about future plans, we say, for example, what are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tonight? And a response, I'm going to eat at a restaurant. I'm going to eat at a restaurant. Now, the next question about location. The plan is, I'm going to eat at a restaurant. So the next question is about location. And we use where. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Or maybe, where are you going to eat? And a response, I'm going to go to Chili's. Or maybe, I'm going to eat at Chili's. Good. So, location, we use where. For transport, we use how. For example, how are you going to get there? Now, the principal verb to ask about the way the person is going to take transportation, get plus the place is arrive. So, for example, how are you going to get there? Or how are you going to get to the restaurant? And the answer, I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. Good. For people, we use who. So, who are you going to go with? Remember, always use with when we ask who. Who are you going to go with? And a typical answer, I'm going to go with my friend. I'm going to go with my friend. Good. So these are typical questions for people in the future. A. Complete this conversation with the correct form of be going to. B. M is R. Going to. Remember, 
I am, he, she, it is, we, you, we, you, they are. A. Where you, you are. Where are you? Going to spend summer vacation. My parents and I, my parents, my mom and dad, my father, mother and I, and I, three, visit my grandparents, are gonna visit, are going to visit, are going to visit. So number one, are going to visit. Two, who you invite to Thanksgiving dinner? You am either or are. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Or who are you gonna gonna invite to Thanksgiving dinner? I am. I am gonna, I'm gonna ask my family and some good friends. I am going to ask my family and some good friends. 3. What? You. What are you? Going to do. What are you going to do for Halloween? What are you gonna do for Halloween? What are you gonna do for Halloween? I don't know. I am not going to do anything special. I am not gonna do anything special. For how? How how your parents, parents, mom and dad, father and mother, they. How are your parents? How are your parents gonna celebrate New Year's Eve? How are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? They they're going to go to their neighbor's party. They're going to go to their neighbor's party. They are going to go to their neighbor's party. Party, American Tea Soft D, British party. Five. What your sister? Your sister? She. What is your sister gonna do for her birthday? What is your sister gonna do for her birthday? Her boyfriend, her boyfriend, he, her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. His boyfriend gonna take her out to dinner. B. Group work. Ask your classmates, ask your friends about their plans. Use the time expressions in the box. In number B, you are going to ask your friend about his plans. Time expressions, tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Tomorrow, some Americans say morrow. In conversation, say morrow. Like tomorrow morning, morrow morning. Next, next week, next month, next summer, next year. So we're going to use these expressions. Example, what are you going to do tonight? Tonight, mm, I'm going to go to party. I'm going to go to party. American party, British party. Oh, really? Who going to be there? Well, Laura and Rosa are going to come. But Jeff isn't going to be there. Jeff is not going to come. Jeff will not come. Look at this picture. What do you see in this picture? Ways to celebrate. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Decorate. Eat special food. Go to a parade. Give gifts. Watch fireworks. Play music. Go on a picnic. Wear special clothes.
This is decorate. This is a house, part of a house. It's decorated to decorate, to change the color and the style. Eat special food to celebrate, to have fun. Eat special food. Eat certain food. Go to a parade. This is a parade. Group of people. They walk in the street together as a march. Sometimes it's military parade. Go to a parade. Give gifts. Gifts, presents. What is the young man doing? He's giving a present to his wife. Watch fireworks. Watch fireworks, watch firecrackers. These are fireworks, firecrackers. Play music, to play the music. Go on a picnic, to go on a picnic, to go to a picnic. Wear special clothes, to wear certain clothes like kimono. Kimono is a Japanese traditional crop. Pair work. This is between you and your friend. Are you gonna celebrate a special day this year? Are you? Are you gonna do any of the things in Port A? Well, I'm gonna celebrate the breakfast feast. We eat special food. We are going to make cookies and biscuits. Another example. Are you gonna celebrate a special day this year? Yes, I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna celebrate the sacrifice feast. The sacrifice feast at her feast. We eating feta and meat. Let's read number A. I'm gonna go to a wedding next month. A wedding, marriage party. I'm gonna go to wedding next month. I'm gonna wear special clothes. I'm gonna wear special clothes, certain clothes. Is it a traditional wedding? You ask follow-up questions. Holidays and festivals. Look at the picture here. Where you see Cinco de Mayo in Mexico, sits born in Japan. Some young men they're playing music. This is young men, a lot of people, they're raising their hands. Let's read. What's holiday? What's the holiday or festival? This is Cinco de Mayo in Mexico. When is it? It's on May 5th. What are you gonna do? I am gonna go to a parade. This is a parade. What's a parade? A parade? group of people they walk together where are you gonna go who is going to be there my brother Rafat is going to be there when are you gonna go I'm going to go on the 5th of May how are you gonna get there I'm gonna get there by aeroplane, by plane. Example. What is the holiday or festival? The sacrifice feast. 
When is it? It's on the ninth day of Dhul Hajjah. We we'll start with Arafah day, the ninth day of Dhul Hajjah. This is the lunar calendar. What are you going to do? We're going to have fun on the sacrifice feast. We eat, we eat fatta and meat, we eat kafsa. We talk, we call our friends and relatives. We do the prayers in the early morning. That's so. Where are you going to go? I'm going to travel to my uncle, who's going to be there. All the members of my family. When are you going to go? I'm going to travel on the fifth day of the Hajj. How are you going to get there? I'm going to get there by bus. Exercise number 12, reading. What are you going to do on your birthday? Scan the article, how old is each person going to be? Here, in this exercise, you have four pictures. You start to guess. Maybe, how old is Elena? Kimichi? Mr. and Ms. and Mrs. Okai Philippe How old are they? Let's start to listen. What are you going to do on your birthday? Scan the article. How old is Elena? Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. So, his birthday is on the coming Saturday. How, how old is Elena? Elena is 21 years old. 21st, 21. And I'm gonna go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They're gonna pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom, it's an old habit. Some people will own the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Listen. Page 77, exercise 12, reading. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Two. Kamichi. She's from Taipei. Kamichi is from Taipei. Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes for my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Where is Kimichi from? She's from Taipei. How old is Kimichi? She's 16 years old. Tomorrow is her 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So, what is she gonna do? Kimichi, she's going to have a family ceremony. What about the presents and gifts? Probably she's going to get some money in lucky envelopes from her relatives, her relatives, her family, her uncle, her grandfather, her grandmother. 
My mother is going to cook noodles. Mom is going to make noodles. Noodles are for long life. When you eat a lot of noodles, you will have long life. Three, three, look at the picture. A man, they're middle-aged, they're having fun. Maybe this is the anniversary of marriage. Listen. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, where are they from? They're from Kyoto. Where is Kyoto? Kyoto is in Japan. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. So tomorrow, this mister going to leave his work. He's going to leave the work. He will not find the job because he's 60 years old. He is going to be on pension. On pension or on pension, you leave work, you stay at home, you get salary. What is the 60th birthday called in Japan? They call it Kanarki. What does it mean? This word in Japan means the beginning of new life. The color red represents new life. What do the children give the old man who is six years old? They give something great as a present. What is the meaning of the red color to be formal and to be respected? Four, look at the picture. Philippe Julie, Mr. Philippe, is from Paris. Where is he from? He's from Paris. Let's listen. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Where is Mr. Flip from? He's from Paris. How old is he? He's going to be 30 years old. 30. How is going to celebrate with his birthday? He's going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. Why? This is the custom in France. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, it's the opposite. People take you out. So in some countries, they take him out to have fun. In this exercise, you have four senses. They are, they are full of mistakes. They have different mistakes. Correct the mistake. One. To celebrate her birthday, Elena gonna pull on her, her friend's ears. Of course, not wrong. Is it wrong? Correction. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull on her ears. 
This is number one. Number two. Kame is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. No. But it's not Kame, but it's Kame's mother. Kame's mother is going to cook some noodles. Three. On her birthday, Mr. Awaki is going to buy something great. False. Number three, of course. Correction. On his birthday, Mr. and Mrs. Jones are going to get something great. Mr. and... Four, Philip's friends gonna take him out to dinner on his birthday. No, this is wrong. But I'm gonna say, Philip is... Philip is going to... is going... to take... is going to take his friends out to dinner on his birthday. That's the end of unit number 11, part 2. Wish you all good luck. Homework number 1, keep the words by heart. 2, watch the video. 3, listen and repeat. 4, watch the video of interchange. Unit 11, share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.